Hello, all. So, starting off with Frisk, which is an eyeshadow by uh, Urban Decay in the Naked 2 palette, and using a fluffy brush such as the MAC 217 or one similar, go ahead and take that color and apply it all over your crease in windshield wiper motions, like so. Then taking the color Primal from the same Naked 2 palette, you want to go ahead and apply that on top of the first color you just applied. And you want to again go in windshield wiper motions. Putting one top of one color on top of the other will uh, help create more depth in the crease, as you can tell. Here I'm just going in with a super fluffy brush and I am just, uh, you know, fusing the two colors together and making sure there are no harsh lines. I really do love this brush by Sonia Kashuk. This one is from my Sonia Kashuk uh, brush collection review and then this is me showing you what it looks like so far. Then I'm taking another brush from the same collection. I'm taking the color Skimp and I'm packing this all over the eyelid. And uh, this one is pretty much just a flat uh, shader brush. And then the shadow, I would say, is like a satiny kind of finish. Then I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm uh, fusing all three colors together. But because this color is so light and um, there definitely is a contrast between the blending color, blending color, excuse me, sorry, and the uh, lid color. You definitely want to slowly and uh, gently blend the colors together so, you know, the lid color doesn't turn brown. I actually forgot to show this before because I felt like it was pretty straightforward. But here I'm uh, taking eyeshadow primer. This one's by Urban Decay. It's the gold one. And I am just applying it under the waterline because we're about to put shadow there. So taking the color Undone, you want to take a flat shader brush or an angled brush like so. And take it and apply it under your waterline. And then when you're done applying Undone under your waterline, you want to go ahead and wipe off the excess color on a paper towel, a tissue, whatever, and then you uh, want to just go in with the same brush and kind of smudge it out so it looks a little bit more clean. Here I'm just taking my gel liner and applying it on the uh, eyelids, like so. And again, I'm using another Sonia Kashuk brush. Uh, this one I believe was meant for the brows, but I decided to use it as an eyeliner brush. Uh, it's an angled brush. It's super, super thin. It's actually even thinner than the uh, Eco Tools brush I was just using. So I really do like this. Um, then I'm taking my wipe and I'm just cleaning up the uh, primer and some of the shadow that uh, had fallen out. And then I'm also uh, trying to clean up my eyeliner to make it a more precise line, like so. Also, if you guys are interested in any Sonia Kashuk brushes, I did do a recent review on the limited edition collection, so go ahead and check that out. And here I'm showing you guys what the makeup looks like so far. Then I'm taking the mascara called Studio Sculpt by MAC, and here I'm showing you guys how unique this brush really is. Um, the main thing that I really love about 
this mascara is it does not clump. I think it really is because of the uniqueness of the brush. It doesn't look like your typical uh, spoolie round mascara brush. Um, I also really like that this is uh, this makes it uh, easy to put on mascara on the bottom and um, it doesn't necessarily curl your lashes or give it uh, length but it does give definition. Then I'm taking uh, Max Prep and Prime Lip Primer. You can go ahead and use any primer. And I'm going to apply it on just like chapstick. Uh, what I love about it is that it gives a matte finish and it helps smoothen out the lips and helps your uh, lips uh, color stay on longer, especially for uh, this intense color. Then I'm taking the color uh, stone, which is a lip liner by MAC. You could either use cork, night moth, um, I know NYX has some really good lip liners, me being silly. Then I'm taking uh, Viva Glam Rihanna 2, which um, I like to think it's like a gun metal 90s grunge kind of color. It's very different than uh, any color uh, that I've ever tried. So, you know, it's definitely uh, interesting for me to, you know, be out of my comfort zone. Um, so I'm applying it. Um, it's a frost finish, so I would recommend probably applying two uh, coats uh, just so it really gets that um, intense, deep color. Then I took a makeup wipe and just cleaned it up. Then I'm, you know, singing. I can't remember what I was singing, but, you know, I'm just playing with hair and, you know, again, being silly. Then I'm taking the lip glass that goes along with the lipstick. And um, this color reminds me of Max Lester White gloss, except it has more like purpley brownish specks, but it's still very pretty. Um, and what I'm doing is just taking this and I'm applying it more so three thirds, three 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 thirds, three fourths of the way into my lip, kind of in the center. Then I'm taking my powder and then this tapered brush by Sigma, which I am so in love with, like, no joke. I really love how it helps me, you know, get into uh, under the eyes and in between, you know, my brows and on my nose. It just uh, really helps get the powder precisely um, where you want it without, you know, you getting powder on, you know, your lips or other places. Then I'm uh, just bronzing up my uh, face with, you know, just a regular bronzer. And um, here I'm just using the MAC 168, which is a really good contouring brush, especially for my face uh, shape that's more like rectangular. I think it's much uh, better to use this angled brush uh, versus like a domed uh, contouring brush. Then I'm taking this highlighter that I want to use as a blush. It's like a very subtle pink with like a few, uh, you know, gold specks in there. Then I'm just taking a stippling brush because I really just wanted a sheer finish with a little bit of glow. Um, also, what I like about the small stippling brush is that I could use it. Uh, for uh, blending. Oh, also, I decided to take that color that I put on my cheeks and I use it as a highlight for my brow bone. Then again, as I mentioned before, I'm just going in and I'm going to blend it. And this was by e.l.f. and I got uh, this brush and I really like it because it's like super cheap and it's actually pretty durable. So, you know, it doesn't just like all come out after like three uses. And I actually forgot to do this, but thank God I remembered. I'm going ahead and completing the look by applying some black eyeliner into the waterline. And then this is the completed look. And here I am singing again. I was, you know, really jamming in my music while filming this. And this is the completed look, as I mentioned before. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!